The Elimination Chamber was just the start of something very, very spectacular and special that will move on to Monday Night Raw later on tonight to settle the score with Rowdy, Ronda Rousey, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, and Kurt Angle. Viewers and subscribers, this is the Brash and Breezin. Sean Van Damon, I will not be overtaken on this channel. We keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. On a night where Stephanie McMahon announced a huge segment for tomorrow night's Monday Night Raw where Triple H... Ronda Rousey, Kerning will all be in the same ring at the same time. We saw Triple H get put through a table at the Elimination Chamber by Rowdy Ronda Rousey. She will have to explain her questions, ex explain her actions, and Kurt Angle will have to answer to Stephanie and Triple H as to why he did what he did. It was an explosive segment. It was a little bit, it was, let's say this, it was a little bit jumpy. It was a little bit over the place. There was a few botches from Ronda Rousey, but her emotions and in the crowd and, you know, the crowd against her, for her, with her. You know, the crowd didn't make it easy for Ronda Rousey, but once again, this shows you that the WWE is a very different animal than UFC. It's a whole different feeling, aura, and vibe, and Ronda Rousey's going to come around. Ronda Rousey, good. you know, it's almost a good thing this wasn't on Monday Night Raw in front of a worldwide audience. I know the WWE Network's on a worldwide audience basis, so, well, I, I guess, well, Kind of like Ronda Rousey looked a little bit off. I, I just sounded a little bit off by saying it. Because the WWE Network and WWE Raw is seen by millions and millions of people. But but be that as it may, when they're shared... And, listen, Ronda Rousey is going to come to her own. She's still new at this. She's still adjusting. It's still, uh, you know, a, a, a feeling out period for Ronda Rousey. But aside from that, we also learned that the WrestleMania main event for 2018 will once again... The disdain will be one that people are not looking forward to. Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns earned that right tonight at the Elimination Chamber by defeating, you know, six other caliber high top superstars in Elimination Chamber from the Monday Night Raw side of things. Now, here's the thing. Everyone said, oh, it was predictable. We saw that coming. We knew what was going to happen. We don't want Roman versus Lesnar again. But listen, you may not want that match. That may not be the match that you're looking forward to, but you're still going to watch it. You're still going to anticipate it. Well, maybe not anticipate it. But listen, here's the thing about Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns part two. This rematch was supposed to happen the year after that first match or the year after that. But now we're finally going to get it three years later. It's three years in the making. I mean, just look at the way the WWE can build, the, build this up and market it and promote it. But here's the thing. Roman, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar the first time, it was a good match. It was off the charts. It was very, very physical. It was very, very demanding. It was a match of the year candidate, in my opinion. And I think Lesnar and Roman can pull off the same thing once again. But what about the rumors? And this is the variable of Paul Heyman turning on Lesnar and joining Roman Reigns. What about the rumors of Roman Reigns being, you know, there's the allegations of steroids. What about that against Roman? What happens if that comes out before WrestleMania? Will Roman Reigns still be in the main event at WrestleMania? Could that throw a huge curveball into the WWE's plans? So on a night where Ronda Rousey put Triple H through a table, on a night where Stephanie McMahon smacked a taste right out of Ronda Rousey's mouth, does Stephanie McMahon understand what she has done? Does Stephanie McMahon knows what she's getting herself into? And on a night where Roman Reigns was able to clash with the best in the top of the top of Monday Night Raw superstars and become on the elite of the top for Roman Reigns. Viewers and subscribers, there is no in-between on the road to WrestleMania. The path is going to see a lot of curves, a lot of detours, a lot of bumps. But Roman Reigns is going to stand at the top of the WWE food chain. Is Ronda Rousey going to do the same? Is Ronda looking at Kurt Angle as her partner to go against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon at the Showcase of Immortals WrestleMania? Ronda Rousey and Stephanie and Triple H, that's also a couple of years, three years in the making. Wasn't that the same WrestleMania that Brock Lesnar went against Roman Reigns? Viewers and subscribers, you can see the setup. You can see it orchestrating. But can you imagine the layers? Can you imagine the foundation? Can you imagine what the WWE is going to do with this? And like I said, that was a very... It was a tough segment to get through at first around the Rousey. Like I said, her emotions, and at least she was able to say, you know, I, you know, I dedicate my career and, you know, getting this far and what's happening in this ring right now to Rowdy, Roddy Piper. And, you know, she got what out she, she wanted to say. You know, Kurt Angle even messed up. I mean, this is a, this was a high-energy, high-filled emotion. And this is the thing. When you tell these guys to go out and... And you know what about Ronda Rousey? The, 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 the whole smiling and the whole waving. and that, that needs to stop. I mean, what we saw Ronda Rousey do at the end of the segment is the way Ronda Rousey needs to be all the time. I don't know what this is, whole, you know, her demeanor coming out and smiling and waving and, you know, posing. And, well, why? 
Why can't we get the Ronda Rousey that was in the UFC and, you know, went in there with a purpose and with a mean streak and had that face on her that if you get in my way, I will take you right out. That's the kind of Ronda Rousey we need. That's the kind of Ronda Rousey we deserve. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who's telling Ronda Rousey to go out there and smile and take up pictures and kiss babies. I, I, I We don't need a warded down Ronda Rousey like we got a warded down elimination chamber structure with the mats protecting the steel outside the ring. You gotta be kidding me. Viewers and subscribers, this is The Thing, the brash and brazen show and view entertainment. I will not be overtaken by my merch. Follow me on Facebook or donate to become dedicated to the show and view. Click the links in the comment section or in the description of this video. What do you think about all the events? What do you think about all the actions? What do you think about everything that happened with the Ronda Rousey segment with Triple H, Stephanie, and Kurt Angle? And then what about the main event where Roman Reigns will face Brock Lesnar in the main event at WrestleMania 34? Viewers and subscribers, we settle the score. More to come from the brash and brazen. I will not be overtaken. Show and view. Entertainment. Water.